In this video we're going to take a look at shapes of data distributions and then choosing the appropriate measures of center and variation based on those shapes. There's three shapes of distributions that we might see that we're going to talk about here. The first one is called symmetric and you've heard that word before likely. When something is symmetric that means we can match it up and fold it in half basically. So if we have something like this where it's kind of going up and there's a middle there like that and something like that and then we could fold it in half right here that's an example of symmetric. The other two are called skewed and they're skewed along with a direction. So it can be skewed left or it can be skewed right. Now there's a couple ways that we can remember what that particular uh, the left or right means. So one way is if uh, we think of it as getting squished. So the left side is gonna look something maybe like this. And maybe there's one over here. So this would be an example of skewed left because the left hand side is either squished or you could think of it as being sort of stretched out and the majority of the data is over on the right. The skewed right is just the flip of that. So we've got lots of data over here something like that. I'll make that one a little bigger. Okay, so skewed right means the right part is squished down, if you think of it getting squished on this side, or stretched to the right, meaning the majority of the data is on the right. Now, those are the names and what we can look for. De depending on what the shape is, that will tell us what uh, we should use for our measures of center and of variation. So if it's symmetric, what we're going to do is we're going to use the mean for our measure of center and we're going to use the standard deviation for the measure of variation. So the mean and the standard deviation if we have it skewed, so the skewed's are both going to be the same, what we're going to use is the median and the five number summary. Now you might say five number summary, what? Never heard of that. Well, the five number summary is the those values that you would use to find to, to make a box and whisker plot so the minimum the maximum the first quartile the third quartile and the median would be the five number summary okay so these are the same as what you would use to create a box and whisker plot the reason for the differences here is because in a symmetric situation the median and the mean are basically the same. They're right about in the middle. If it becomes skewed, then what happens is the mean gets pulled in the direction of the skew. So for this one, the mean would get pulled in this direction. The um, skewed right, the mean gets pulled this way. So we have to um, make sure that uh, we're, we're not letting that, that skew um, misrepresent our data. And so rather than using that mean or that average, we're going to use the median, which remember is the middle. So let's take a look at uh, some examples here and see if we can't name and determine which uh, measures of center and variation we should use. So for this first one right here, 
Now to call it symmetric, you don't it doesn't have to be perfect perfect. It doesn't have to exactly match up. Um, but it should be pretty close. So if we look at this one, um, notice that the middle is right about here. We've got five values on this side, five, six on this side, then there's a six and a one. If we took two of those down here and make that into, or three of those down there, it kind of evens out. I would call this one symmetric. Um, and this one's kind of a tricky one to start out with, but there's actually a calculation that we can do to tell the skewness of a histogram. Um, and that's uh, beyond this video, but you could do a little research on that to learn about the skewness to know for sure. Um, this one right here, notice that we've got, we don't have that sort of highest one in the middle. But if you notice, it kind of would match up, right? If the middle was right here, then we've got 9 and 9, so those would match up. And then we've got 7 and 6, those are pretty close. So this would also be an example of a symmetric, the shape being symmetric. Now, in symmetric, remember, we use the mean and the standard deviation to um, talk about the measures of center and variation. Let's go over here and take a look at these two. Now, notice that our data is pulled in one direction or squished if you want to think of it that way. Think about somebody that came along and stomped on this side of our data. Well, notice that what would we call this? We would call this skewed left because this left is squished so this would be skewed left and for this one remember we don't want to use the mean because of that skew that mean is going to be um, affected by that uh, data being stretched in that uh, left hand direction so we call this one skewed left we want to use the median and the five number summary the last one, right down here, this is another example of a pretty clear skew. And again, we're skewed. Which direction is it pulled? It's pulled to the left, so squished on the left. And again, for our measure of center, we want the median. And then for our measure of variation, we want the five number summary. Remember the five number summary is the minimum, the maximum, first quartile, third quartile, and the median. Remember, shapes of data distributions, if we're looking at histograms, there's three uh, basic shapes that we like to talk about. One is symmetric, where you could match it up. If you fold it in half, it would basically match up. It doesn't have to be perfect to be symmetric. And then we've got the skewed options. If it's skewed, then we use the median and the five number summary because that mean gets pulled in the direction of the tail part, uh, the skewed part of our uh, histogram. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do this.